Hello guys, it's the Caribbean Bookworm and today I'll be giving you my top 5 favorite popular science books related to physics so far. The reason I'm doing this video is one, because I haven't posted a video in a while and two, the reason, well, not the number two isn't the reason, but two, because, well, I love popular science books and especially physics. Now, um, the reason I haven't posted a video in so long is because whenever I post a video, I typically want to do book reviews. But um, since bu um, the 2018 readathon is approaching, I'm going to have to start making more videos soon. And also, I'm finishing the book that took me so long, which is It. I'm finally finishing It. I'm at around page 850, which is very far to those of you who have to have the book. And um, you can expect a review definitely coming up around Saturday. Give Saturday or Sunday. I'm finishing the book really fast and it's going really, really, really good. So at last, I'm finally finishing it. But on to the video of today. Now, I'm going to make this video, but in the near future, I'll probably make more videos like my favorite popular science books related to the area of, say, biology or chemistry. But so far, from the popular science book, books that I have read, most of them are physics related, hence why this video is much easier to make. So without further ado, here we go. on our top five favorite list isn't exactly a physics book but more of a maths book but since maths and physics are actually so well linked I advise anyone who's interested in physics to read this book since it gives you a broader clearer understanding of mathematics as well which as a true physics enthusiast is also really important so book number five on our list is the Magic of Mathematics by Arthur Benjamin. Um, this book serves a general purpose of informing um, the layman like us about the depths of the mathematics of which we've learned in high school, particularly things like algebra, pre-calculus, and just simple concepts in mathematics such as numbers, pi, Euler's number, and such, sorry, Euler's, no, um, Euler's number. Many people get that wrong, <laughs> including myself. Um, look at a movie and see people writing these really complex equations on a chalkboard. It usually comes from really simple concepts and this book does its best job to explain to you the, the foundation behind set concepts. So it's a really good book and it's also really humorous for a math book. So whether you're a math lover or someone who's not really enthusiastic about math, I think everyone can get something out of this book. The second book is one that I don't have, unfortunately, with me right now, and that is The Elegant Universe by Brian Greene. This is a popular science book, but it's a bit more tough to get through because you have to really have a certain amount of mathematical rigor and a bit of an understanding of basic physics. So um, this book, The Elegant Universe by Brian Greene, is about particularly about string theory so how string theory came to be the different types of string theory so the m theory and all behind the technicalities of string theories but explained in a more conceptual matter in a way that we can understand how it works and it starts off very very rigorous in the first the first two chapters explaining quantum mechanics and general relativity general and special relativity on uh not in a very mathematical way but in a way that's still very tough to get through if you're not able to keep on with the abstractness of the concept universe but it's a pretty amazing book in general on understanding the different theories behind how the universe works and the idea behind the so-called theory of everything in number three on my list, I hope I said number four on the previous one, but number three on my list is, um, I do have it with me, Six Easy Pieces by Richard Feynman. And this book doesn't even need explanation because those who's into physics 
knows about this face. Anyways, this is actually a hardback two book version, so it has six easy pieces and six not so easy pieces. I haven't read six not so easy pieces yet, and for obvious reasons, it's not so simple. Six easy pieces goes about the Feynman lectures of physics, which are also three sets of books uh, based on his um, lectures at called, um, I think Caltech. And they're based on basic physics ideas um, for undergraduates. And the beauty of the Feynman lectures is that he explained various concepts of university physics in a way that people can understand what he's talking about. Even when he's going into a bit of the mathematics, you can still follow because it's very, very fluently explained. It's explained in a manner in which laymen can easily follow the maths and easily follow the theories to get to the most important points. And Six Easy Pieces is a collection of the, mo of the most fundamental and easiest parts of his first volume of the Feynman Lectures. I don't think it's just his first volume, but in either ways, it's a collection of the easiest lectures to follow. And number two and number one on my list are from the same authors, so you can kind of guess number one if you know where I'm going with this, but number two is The Demon Haunted World by Carl Sagan. Now, the name sounds like scary, but it isn't that. Demon Haunted World by Carl Sagan is a popular science book that's not even about just physics, it's about general knowledge. It's basically about um, debunking pseudoscience and the importance of skepticism, the importance of critical thinking, since Carl Sagan was a huge ad advocate of thinking critically. And in this book, he basically explores different areas of pseudoscience that are very popular in, well, the main pop culture. So things like ESP, um, astrology, um, alien encounters, and stuff like that. He goes into all the possible explanations and goes on why we should question absurd claims and why evidence it's, is so important in the world of science and in our daily life. And number one on my list is obviously, for those who know me, it's Cosmos by Carl Sagan. I love astronomy, astrophysics, and physics, and this book is a gem. Not only because it covers those topics, and also look at this. I think this is just general physics things. Like They just don't write anything on the back. They just put their picture and just look at how awesome they are. This book just doesn't just cover astronomy and physics. It also covers different areas of science. So it covers biology, chemistry, um, paleontology, and all these different fields to come with this broad and beautiful collection of, well, you could say this broad, beautiful little documentary about the history of everything. Cosmos was well, well known as a TV series back in the 80s, um, hosted by Carl Sagan, and there's also a, remake, a reboot that has been done with Neil deGrasse Tyson. And that reboot also has a season 2 coming out next year, I think, which is more focused on exoplanets. But for anyone curious enough, I recommend checking out, they're both good, but I recommend checking out the original series. And if you're really, really curious, especially about astronomy, I recommend checking out this book. This book accompanies the series very, very well and has very pretty art, um, artistic um, illustrations. Here's an example of one of those pretty artistic illustrations. Just by the first chapters, you can see right here, very, very beautiful if you could see it in person. Um, this is a um, spiral galaxy, probably the Milky Way, an illustration of it anyhow, and this is an elliptical galaxy. And I think you can see the quasar in the middle. I don't know if you can see it, but at the cover, you can definitely um, see the quasar. Uh, I think it's right there. Yeah, that's the quasar. Basically, a super giant black hole that's theorized to be in the middle of or in the center of every galaxy we know of. Yeah, that's it for my list of my top five favorite popular science books related to physics so far and hopefully with more to come. And that's it for my video today and stay tuned for my review of It by Stephen King coming pretty soon. Bye.